Dr. Peterson is here joining us. He's from the Whole Torp Medical Group. Talking about you are what you eat. What does that mean? Wow. I just um, had a frappuccino. Does that mean I'm full coffee? of sugar and yeah. nothing good for you? Sure. I mean, what, what happens is the things that we eat have to be broken down, mm -hmm. um, whether it's a, a carbohydrate, a sugar, or a fat, or a protein. And we need all of them. We need certain amounts of each one of them. And if we're, if we're not getting it balanced, right. then we'll have problems, whether it's with inflammation or, or poor muscle strength or, or weak bones. How is it when we, I mean, you know, I think we try to eat pretty clean, but where we live in this society, it's not always there. How much is that affecting our GI? It affects it enormously. Yeah. So our GI tract, it, it seems simple at first. We put the food in, we absorb the nutrients, we excrete the waste. But there's a lot more to it than that. You know, our digestion starts actually before we even start to eat. When we think about food or we smell food, we start to salivate. And those enzymes from saliva start to break down the food the moment it hits our mouth. We chew digestive enzymes, uh, pancreatic enzymes, um, bile from the liver. All of those things are breaking the food down into now pieces that we can absorb. Um, another really important thing is the level of acid in our stomach. And I think everybody at one time or another has taken something to lower the acid in their stomach because it hurts. Right, right. But if we lower it constantly, now we can't break down our food like we should because pepsin, that breaks down some of our food. It doesn't work if the acid's not low enough. And then what, what happens to the food? It just sits in your stomach? Yeah, if it, pu it's not being... it putrefies. Um, there is an well, that's enzyme. That's a nice word, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it rots. Um, <laughs> Gosh. So, uh, and, and that's part of why, you know, if you're, you, you'll, your bowel movements are too frequent or too infrequent or you have more yeah. gas, and it's all because yeah. what's happening to that food? Is it in there being digested appropriately or is it rotting or is it just sitting there going bad and then you excrete it? So, hmm. um, now, now the, so that's the first part is, yeah. the, you know, the, all the way to the stomach and the, and the pancreas and stuff. The, the next part is where we absorb all the food, the small intestine. And that's really probably, it's, you can't say one step's more important than the next, but it's really critical because if we can't absorb the nutrients, what difference does it make that we broke them down? It doesn't. Yeah. yeah. And we have, our, our gut is full of bacteria and it's really helpful to us. Now, there's three different kinds of bacteria, and I don't want to get too boring, but there's symbiotic, or good bacteria. Okay. There's commensal, or they don't care about us and we don't care about them bacteria. And there's pathologic, which is that makes us sick bacteria. Okay. Um, the symbiotic bacteria, if we don't have enough of it, we can't break down lots of things. Babies, that's why, and this is gross to say on TV, but if you had a baby, you know their poop at first is sort of like mustard with cottage cheese in it because they can't break stuff down. Yeah, but then definitely. after three months, after they've put their fingers in their mouth or breastfed or licked their bottle, got all that bacteria in their gut, they're breaking their food down. They're breaking their sugars down and now they're using them. So do you believe in clonics or cleanses? Yeah, I've never had to do one. Um, I don't like to recommend them, but they can be very helpful. They can be. You okay. know, when a person's constipated, what's interesting about your mood, um, the, the brain and the gut are the same kind of tissue. They're neural crest cells. And our brain has a a way of talking to our body. So does our gut. And um, I think everybody's experienced where they, they feel nervous about a presentation mm -hmm. or something and um, their gut gets all messed up and they, you know, before sure. they go out to play basketball, they got to go to the bathroom because they're going to have diarrhea once. Okay. Right? Well, that's because the brain and the gut talk back and forth all the time. The neurotransmitters in the brain, dopamine, serotonin, GABA, all those things that help us feel good or excited, the gut makes them too. Um, which is fascinating, it's actually the same tissue embryologically. So if our gut's not healthy, mm -hmm. it sends a signal to the brain that says there's a problem here and people get depressed or anxious or um, hyperactive. You know when grandma used to say, oh, Johnny must be constipated because he's acting up. Did she say that? I don't remember, mm, but yeah. <laughs> what is the theory of that? Well, that's, that's exactly right, is if, you're, if, you, if your bowels are not regular, mm -hmm. if the bacteria in your gut isn't appropriate, then it changes your mood and your behavior. What does stress have to do with your stomach? Well, the signals go both ways. And mm -hmm. so if you're stressed, something's going on that, that's bothering you, you make less serotonin. And now that serotonin that, that your gut's supposed to make, a signal is sent that says, we're making less of that. And so now your gut's upset. So then you get inflammation and you get, you know, whether it's diarrhea or constipation or just upset right. stomach or irritable bowel syndrome, all of that occurs because you had a really rough day. Wow.
Well, there's a lot going on. Um, all these questions, these are so, can we have another five minutes? We can't. We gotta still talk about this, but we can. Thanks, Dr. Peterson, for coming on. If you wanna know more information about this, just go over to our website at foryutah.com. We will link you there to Holtorf Medical Group. Give them a call if you wanna go out and see them. I um, appreciate you talking about this.